Music worldwide on Dan Blake TV on YouTube. Hey, what up, what up? It's your boy Slim Folk Honey, and you tuned in to Music Worldwide with your boy Dan Blake. Bye. Music worldwide. Oh, no. What's up with it? <laughs> chilling, chilling, man. I don't know. Like the first time I started requesting and shit, they were saying not sent, not sent. I don't know yeah. why I was saying that, but what's popping with it though? What's happening? Now we good, man. Thank you for joining us, bro. Yeah, Pleasure to have you. Music Worldwide UK to LA right now. <laughs> that part. Yeah, technology is a special thing, right? You say yeah. that? So technology, man, it's a special thing, my bro. You can connect I, nicely. Hell yeah, that part. Mm. So, so the new album is out now, man. Shake, uh, yeah. back. shake back, shake back, loving it, loving it. Been um been zoning out to it a bit, man. Been taking it in. Um. So how did this title come around, though? Let, let's get to the title. I, I like the title, man. So let, let me know how that title come about. Basically, um, you know, after my incident, I, um, I was hearing from my management, you know what I mean? Like, like people was commenting on pictures and my, 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 my Instagram, like, like, like shake back. You're going to be all right. Like, like, like God got you. Wooty woo, wooty woo. And, um, when me and him sat down and talk, when he came to see me, I'm like, fuck it, man, I'm living. So I'm about to be thinking about like. My album, my watch. I'm about, to, I'm about to just start plotting while I'm in the hospital. So as I'm laying on the bed, I use my mama phone to look at what he was actually talking to me about after he left. And um, I start seeing the comments and the, the 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 shake back, shake back with the speedy recovery and all type of shit. And I'm like, I'm gonna make my title off one of these motherfucking up sayings right here. And shake back came and shit, it stuck. Wow, I love that. And um, you know, one of the one of the first songs that um stood out for me when I was listening, um, I was really enjoying "She Won't Leave Me." Oh yeah, me and um, uh, me, G Easy, and Derrick King. Yeah, I really like that, and I like the um the instrumentation in the record. I believe it's like a a kind of flute or a flute kind of sound, or a violin that kind of kicks yeah, off. The my 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 dude stills like he like he made that beat, and I told him like. Put in some extra shit where they can hear it. You know, like when you're hearing the rap, you can still mm. listen to the beat in the background. And, yeah, for real. Yeah, that, that little blowing shit, that shit hard as a motherfucker. Yeah, that beat, that beat, that beat is hard, man. And um, how did that link up come with you and G-Eazy? How did that collaboration come together, man? That's just me and him being bros, you know what I mean, for a minute. And um, everybody was tapping in. Rather, you know what I mean, a lot of people know it or not. Um, they was sending their condolences, you know what I'm saying? DMing me like, hey, bounce back, shake back, or God got you, woo de woo like I was saying. So he always been a good friend of mine, you know what I'm saying, for some years now. And once I'm in the booth, I just listen to the song and think about who sound this may attract, you know what I mean? And Jeezy came to mind on that, like, let me go and get this verse from him, man. Let me, let me, let me tap in, let him know I need him right quick and shit. We went up. Are you gonna do a video for that one, or, or make it a, a, a single? Yeah, yeah. Um, I feel like my next single might be that one to keep it one hundred. And once that drop, me and him already been talking about the video, so it's a lot of shit in the making. This, 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 this. Believe that. Yeah, you know I mean, this, this, this. Know the shit coming, man. Real tough. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Cause you know, getting my little A and R air on, man. I really, I really could hear that. <laughs> You know, that's why I just wanted to let you know that, man, and see what the energy is with that. Yeah, no, nah, I appreciate it, but that shit comes from, you know, this a long time of, you know, being in this career, and you got to learn from your mistakes, you feel me? <laughs> yeah, for real. And I've been, I've been tapping into, also, I've been tapping into um, the vibe on, I'm liking John Doe, loving John Doe as well. Yeah, yeah, that's my boy D3, out of, um, out of Wise, California. That's one of the homies and shit from uh, 400 Records. So, you know, I'm just, just doing what matter right now and we can make a lot of sense. You feel me? Mm -hmm. That one's got a real kind of, it's got that kind of, I would say that kind of, I don't know, man, have a couple of drinks, man. 
know, have a couple of drinks, enjoy, vibe out. Yeah, that motherfucker get you going. Yeah. <laughs> I just um, I actually, I just shot a video with with uh with him too, probably like last week, earlier last week. So that video for John Doe will be coming out real soon too. So I just been not, I just been working, bro. Really, just working. And I, I think I saw a clip of that video, man. I, I, it looked really. <laughs> yeah, you know, how we, you know how we do it, yo. Hold up. Yeah, yo, yeah, oh, so real real vibes in that, man. That video is gonna be crazy. People, make sure. You stay watching for that one. So right now, just yeah. to keep people, let the people know what is going on right now, it is Slim 41400 with Dan Blake, Music Worldwide, London to LA right now. We're tapping in, we're locking in right now. We're connecting in this quarantine, lockdown times. Um, we're talking about the brand new album, Shake Back, it's out now. And um, another record I was loving, bro. I'm loving the vibe on Who Hating as well. Loving that. Oh, yeah. But you know what? With that vibe on the Who Hating record, just the way you're flowing at certain points and your cadence, your flow pattern, I know I don't know if they're an inspiration, but I felt like I don't know, I felt some energy of I don't know, some bone fogs in there, man. A bit of bone fog flow pattern wise. See, look, um that was kinda like that was kinda like the second song got dropped, kinda promoting the tape, letting people know it's coming. And yeah. my vibe in the studio was just like a, like, I got to really, like, put this shit out. Like, like who hates on the nigga? You see what I'm saying? Like, who really out here trying to trying to get at me and take me off this earth? Like, hold on. Y'all going to have to make me grab my thing. You see what I'm saying? And really get to tripping and, and, and keep my eyes wide open. Because, um, yeah, life is short, bro. And they try to do that. But God willing, I'm here. But everything coming out. Lyric wise, all that, like, who hating on me? Stop playing. Like, she won't leave me alone. You see what I'm saying? Nigga, I'm breaking through the ghetto. Like, all type of shit is going up, period. Shake back like a foe, a hard foe, period. And, you know, you're talking about breaking out the ghetto. Um, Martin Luther, you know, Martin Luther in the ghetto. I love that energy and yeah. that record. That, that, that record really stood out to me, man, because I, I appreciated, you know, some of the had a conscious effort on the record as well, man. It had a real conscious feel to it and a real kind yeah, of education yeah. on that one, man. So that's my that's, 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 that's my little that. political that's my little political yeah. joint right there. Yeah, <laughs> that, that one's not to be slept on at all. That's very hard. Yeah, I, I'm just basically trying to come and do some shit that people feel like he can't do or it's unexpected to them. Because for me, being from the ghetto without a out of bond thing, and you know, it just you limit it. Shake a question to you. Then I'll Oh and uh get track, you know what I mean? And Jeezy came to mind on that. Like, let me go and get this verse from him. Stay watching for that one. So right now just yeah. to keep people let the people know what is going on right now. It is slim forward. Going up, period. Shake back like a foe, a hard foe, period. And you know, you're talking about breaking out the ghetto. Um, Martin Luther, you know, Martin Luther in the ghetto. I love that energy and yeah. that record. That, that, that record really stood out to me, man, because I, I appreciated, you know, some of the kind of conscious effort on the record as well, man. It had a real conscious feel to it and a real kind yeah, of education yeah. on that one, man. Man, they're different. I'm like, let me go. Sure, you stay watching for that one. Well, hard fault, period. And you know, you're talking about breaking out the ghetto. Um, Martin Luther, you know, Martin Luther in the ghetto. I love that energy and yeah. that record. That, that, that record really stood out to me, man, because I, I appreciated, you know, some of the kind of conscious effort on the record as well, man. It had a real conscious feel to it and a real kind yeah, of education yeah. on that one, man. So that's my that's, that's 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 my little that. political that's my little political yeah. joint right there. Yeah. <laughs> that, that one's not to be slept on at all. That's very hard. Yeah, I am just basically trying to come and do some shit that people feel like he can't do or 
it's unexpected to them because for me being from the ghetto without a out of fountain and you know it just you limited you some say you already threw in a box coming from a certain section so when you wise and intelligent you see what i'm saying and um think like me i'm gonna give people nowadays shit everything that they think i couldn't come with you know what i mean mm. yeah I like that record a lot man and what's the and now the album's out there how you feeling how you feeling the feedback out there for you right now what's the energy like in the city um, and what the for you? like from close friends and like fans like either they text me hey i like this or that shit hard you need a video for this or man that shit bang or instagram is just hey it's fire it's fire it's fire so it's good i just feel like i just want my downloads to go up a little more i'm talking about like the whole tape i want everybody that really like f with me on a, on a major level like like download the whole tape show a nigga you support you see what i'm saying because if this was your your career you know what i mean if this was your everything like and you my partner or i say you are or i just keep telling you you are like don't keep telling me nothing show me so I feel like for my for my people, my loved ones, I go all out and do the most for them. So they know I care and love them, period. So for this music with me, it's like that's my love. So go and support me. You know what I mean? Like show me you downloaded this shit. That downloads is everything to me. Strings is everything to me. You feel me? Period. Wow. And um, so it's, the album's out now. The feeling is good out there. Um, so, you know, considering what's going on now, has just been a bit of a, a crazy time to even feel like dropping with what's going on right now with this whole lockdown situation. What's your thoughts on this whole lockdown and how are you feeling? How are you coping with all this right now? I mean, I mean, we live in the world, you see what I'm saying? So, whether you in that country and I'm in this country, period, it's like, like everything is unexpected, you know what I mean? So, it's sad we got to really just stay in the house and watch what you do and all this and that. But on another hand, it's probably cool because a lot of people probably don't be with their family like that. A lot of people be probably just running the streets and doing other things versus just noticing what's real and important. So on one hand, like I said, it's cool that we all kind of just around our folks and loved ones. And for the music, everybody just in the studio, in the studio, in the studio. So you perfect your craft around your loved ones, can folks and shit. Staying out the way of the, um, the, 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 the suckers in these streets and um, the, the, the bullshit, you feel me? Yeah, for real, bro. And, you know, California right now, like, what, well, the streets must be empty right now, boy. Because <laughs> I know that traffic's crazy from when I was there in November last year. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, every weekend, every day, after a certain hour, hell yeah, it's, it's stupid, though. But right now, yeah, I'm dry as a whistle. Everybody in the house ducked off or... In and out of certain other state, you know what I mean? Like everybody doing different shit, but yeah, it ain't it ain't the same right now, period. That's what's up. And um, you know what? Just speaking of California, um, what would you say is your favorite thing about California? Because I, I visited in November last year for the first time, and I done like all the kind of touristy kind of stuff. You know, I went Hollywood Hills, all of these kind of things. You know, just rolling around them places. Uh, what would you say your you know, this adult thing to do in LA is for yourself or California in general. It's like since I since I've been in LA so long, and like I'm really like from LA, bro. Like I don't know, like nothing don't like turn me on no more. It don't even like spark me. But if I could say anything about the city, bro, um, I say like like our clubs. You see what I'm saying? Just like turning up, you see what I'm saying? Like, like the clubs is everything out there in that life here. Crazy. Funny enough, I didn't even get to hit a club, proper club spot. I hit a couple little kind of showcase kind of things. So, yeah, definitely next time I have to hit a club or something, I'm for sure. And, um, so you're, so you're German, right? This is correct. You're, you're, you're from Germany originally, right? <laughs> yeah, I was born in Frankfurt. Wow. Good to talk. Yeah, but like I said, I was born out there in Frankfurt. And then I touched the, the States when I was 11 months. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I touched the States in 11 months. So from there, 
him. Uh, like from there, like I so like, like do you, you know what I mean, LA. Yeah. Do you, do you, as of like you know, as a grown man now, you know, with 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 our kind of history and our you know our family histories, do you feel like you tend to look him back to your German culture or your German roots to kind of see, you know, what's happening on that side? Perception. Dude. I said, you know, like considering heritage is quite a, you know, it's become quite a popular thing nowadays. And you having that German heritage, do you lock in on your German side as a grown man now? See, me personally, like I said, bro, like I was born over there because of my pops was in the army. You know what I'm saying? So he originally from like Oklahoma, Oklahoma, I mean, yeah, okay. Oklahoma, Oklahoma. Oklahoma and uh, my mom, she from like Mississippi. You feel me? Like, 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 like not Jackson, but um, something else. Mississippi, something. But they all down south. So when we went over there, it's off his job and et cetera. Where he was, this this station had me. Something happened. I flew out here. I went out there twice since I've been grown off the street of like touring with the homie YG and shit oh, like that. So oh, that's I cool. ain't really. Yeah get into nothing besides clubs and just running around the city looking at how shit made in the buildings but like it is yeah. I, I be tripping now i'm grown it's like yeah that shit was crazy being over there but other than that i don't know shit about none of that bro you feel me well well that's dope though to hear that you you know you went out there yg and stuff how was the how was the performance level out there when you was out out in um germany performing in in germany man that shit was cool i mean the way they talk, they accent, and it's like they know word for word. It's like the shit was dope. Like I loved it. Wow. And what would you say? You know, considering you traveling and stuff like that, where's been um, a highlight for you touring around the world? Where's been the, the biggest highlight for yourself? As of right now, I say like, like Amsterdam or some shit like that. Like, I'm a big pot smoker, so, like, for me to be able to smoke everywhere and do it in restaurants <laughs> while I'm ordering, like, that shit was dope. <laughs> yeah, Amsterdam's pretty cool, man, for sure, for sure. And um, what would you say right now is your ultimate worldwide collaboration? If you could work with three people worldwide, um, who would they be? Um... Captain Conan, that 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 that, that his name? Yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it. Yep. That song, oh. that shit hard. I I love that shit. Jeez. Um, um, <laughs> I say Nas and shit like Lil like Lil Wayne. Okay. Gee, that's that's a hard collaboration right there. <laughs> so we got Slim, Crepton, Conan. We got Nas and we got Little Wayne all on the same record. So who would produce the record then? Who would produce it? Shit. I don't even know, man. That'd be something I have to think about. Yeah. Like, not like that, but shit, I'll fuck around probably let Lil Wayne produce this shit. Like, he be on this shit too now. What? Jeez. Here come, yeah, with, here come with some dumb ass shit. Hold up. That's what's up, man. And, you know, it's, obviously it's been well documented about your, your incident. I don't want to delve too much into it because, you know, we're all about the positivity. Um, what would you say since since that incident has been your, your, your biggest blessing, man? What's your biggest blessing and lesson now? I feel just bouncing back and, 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 and still being able to be around my family, you know what I'm saying, and my loved ones because, like, when it happened, like imagine like like you know you close your eyes and it's dark. Yeah, yeah. Like it was dark for like some minutes. You see what I'm saying? Cause they working on my body, all that. So I'm dead, basically. I'm I'm not I'm out of it. So when I was able to come back and listen, now I see shit again, like that shit's been done and I'll be like, 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 like you 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 take certain moments for granted when like you gotta cherish the motherfuckers, you feel me? So 
I just cherish the moments that I'm around people that I really truly love and respect and shit. I, I stab the streets and just be about my job for real, for real now. And it's sad, but it, it took me from being a certain dude to like, like leveling up. You know what I mean? So you can't keep playing with your life if you feel like you want this. Like it's here. What you gonna do with it? But you gonna keep fucking up. It's like he showed me and he put me in that dark for some minutes and then he brought me back to light. It's like, all right, you keep playing. I ain't about to keep playing no more. You see what I'm saying? So I just cherish this light and my real ones that I be around today, period. That's real, that's real, bro. And yeah, man, we're gonna we're gonna play a couple of games, bro. We're gonna play a couple of games. So I'll I do a couple of features. So the first feature is called it's called Picture Me Rolling. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna I'm gonna give I'm gonna show you a physical copy of an album. And when I show you this album, let me know the first thing that comes to your head. Or just picture put picture yourself rolling or a moment it may have took you in your life. Hopefully you know what the album is. <laughs> there we go. You ready, yeah? Go ahead. Right. Hey, you see that? I'm not. I'm gonna show you the. I'm gonna show you the physical cup. That's Ice Cube. Um, that's the one with the, um, the no Vaseline. That's America's the, um, most wanted. America most wanted. Yeah. Physical CD. <laughs> the hard copy. Hard copy. It's a bit. It's a bit battered, but but. Oh, copy. Right, that's how I, that, Matt, for, if, if you still got that motherfucker, that's how I post the look. Jeez. <laughs> hard. That's hard. Yeah. Any memories from that? Huh? Do, you remember, do you remember when it came out or any, any kind of memory of when that came out? I can't even say, but I know it's like, what, like early 90s, like what, 93, 94? Yeah. Uh, classic stuff, bro. Hell yeah. Okay. Got something else to show you now. A picture me rolling feature. Let me just get this one now. So, I'm gonna show you a picture now, and you just. But it's from your. It's from your life. Um, you just let me know what was going on in this picture, and just explain the story and energy behind this picture. <laughs> um, I was basically with, you know what I mean, a couple of my brothers, you see what I'm saying, from another mother, and I'm um, in the studio out in Burbank, California, and um, we were just having a good time, you know what I mean, chilling, like, speaking on our, 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 our future, and um, smoking hella pot, joking, and uh, that's, that's, that's the moment right there, I, I feel I will remember forever, you feel me? Wow. R.I.P. Nipsey Hussle, man. Huh? The R.I.P. Nipsey Hussle. Yeah, that part. It's my brother right there, man. He, he, you know what I mean? He give game. Every time he seen me, he, he gives some type of game. And he wasn't, like, ashamed to, like, lace you with what he see you doing wrong or et cetera. It's just like an open book. It's like, hey, bro, look, check this out. I mean, why should you do this? Hey, look, I think you should do this. Hey, look. I'm going to have that woo whoop and uh, see about this. I think you should do this with my homeboy. What? Let's go. Hold up. Like, he was just that type of nigga. So, yeah, R.P. Nip Hustle, man. The great. Hold up. Wow, man. So, um, you know, moving on, I do a thing now. We call it quick fire round. So, these, this, I've got a prize for you if you can get through these questions, bro. You ready? Yeah. Okay. i got a little prize for you if you can get through these. So, i got I got a little whistle, so I'm going to blow it. When I blow it, we're going to get ready to go. <laughs> two personality traits that you respect in a person. In two sentences. In two sentences. Shit, being honest. Shit, and the way they carry themselves. Best advice given. Shit, stay focused and believe in yourself. Most famous person you have ever met? 
<laughs> Shit, um. Damn, man, that's crazy. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I know there's somebody. <laughs> no, I feel like most famous, man, um, probably Queen Latifah. Jeez. <laughs> I write the body that writes the cheese. That's the <laughs> Queen Latifah. Goes on for real. Um, favorite movie of all time? Damn, um. I don't know. I want to say belly. Yeah, that's a classic. That's a classic. No, it's if not belly, man. I, I don't know. If I can take it back, I'll say pay the full, bro. <laughs> <I don't> know. <laughs> you know what? I'll give you <laughs> absolutely for that one. Absolutely. Bro. Yeah, that part. <laughs> um, your number one hobby away from your craft of music. One more time. Say it again. Your number one hobby away from your craft in music? Um, I don't know. I just I like to I like to plot and think. You know what I mean? I like to sit back yeah. and just 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 keep setting up. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's what's up. Best place you've ever took a trip to. In America. I don't know, man. Oh, shit. You go so many places, bro. But no, nah, I feel like when I took a trip, this something just chill, just get out the way and still, like, be able to just write, be in my zone. I feel like I, I went to Miami, man. Like, probably oh, outside, Miami. Of, outside of, like, touring, just, I just went back and just sat, like, for a whole four days, like, by myself, yeah. just, just plotting again and doing meets. You feel me? Yeah, I love that. If you were a superhero, what powers would you have? I don't know. I wanted this. I probably wanted this freeze you. This, this stop right there. This hold on. <laughs> just freeze. Just freeze people. Right? Quick. Yeah, I love that. Love that. Um. This one is a bit different now. What did it say? Being invincible for me. Shout out to Forever Branson. Uh, if you could be, if you could do a voiceover, yeah? If you could do a voiceover in any program, documentary, or movie, and there was a spare line in the script for you to say in that voiceover, what would you say? I'm going to say, hold up. You know that. Sure. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I'll probably do like a Martin voiceover or something. Want to give it a go? Like, 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 huh? I say you want to give it a go. He'd be like, uh, you know, Slimmy Slim love the kids. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I love that. I love that. I love that. Um, a couple more, man, to end off. Um, what makes you laugh, bro? Shit, I don't know. Like, like my, like my homies, my close peers. You see, what I'm saying they know the inner slim. You know what I mean? They know that that real slim first. That all right, we about to get out here, do this show. So you know, get in your mode. All right, man. <laughs> Goes on for real. Um, favorite movie of all time. Damn, um, I don't know. I want to say belly. Yeah, that's a classic. That's a classic. No, it's yeah, not belly, man. I, I don't know. If I can take it back, I'll say pay the full, bro. <laughs> <I don't Ooh>. <laughs> you know what? I'll give you <laughs> absolutely for that one. Absolutely. Bro. Yeah, that part. <laughs> um, your number one hobby away from your craft of music. One more time, said again. Your number one hobby away from your craft in music. Um, I don't know. I just I like to I like to plot and think. You know what I mean? I like to sit back and just 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 keep setting up. You know what I mean? Yeah, 
That's what's up. Best place you've ever took a trip to? In America. I don't know, man. Oh, shit. You go so many places, bro. But no, nah, I feel like when I took a trip, this awesome, just chill, just get out the way and still like be able to just write, be in my zone. I feel like I, I went to Miami, man. Like probably outside of, outside of outside of like touring, just I just went back and just sat like for a whole four days, like by myself, yeah. just just plotting again and doing meetings. You feel me? Yeah, I love that. If you were a superhero, what powers would you have? I don't know. I want to just. I probably want to just freeze you. Just, just stop right there. Just hold on. <laughs> just freeze. Just freeze people. Right? Quick. Yeah, I love that. Love that. Um, this one is a bit different now. What is it? Being invincible for me. Shout out to Forever Branson. Um, if you could be, if you could do a voiceover, yeah. If you could do a voiceover in any program, documentary, or movie. And there was a spare line in the script for you to say in that voiceover. What would you say? I'm gonna say hold up. You know that. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I'll probably do like a Martin voiceover or something. You wanna give it a go? Like, like, huh? I say you wanna give it a go. He'd be like, uh, you know, Slimmy Slim, love the kids. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I love that. I love that. I love that. Um, a couple more, man, to end off. Um, what makes you laugh, bro? Shit, I don't know. Like, like, my, like my homies, my close peers, you see what I'm saying? They know the inner Slim. You know what I mean? They know that, that real Slim first that all right, we're about to get out here, do this show. So, you know, get in y'all mode. All right, bam, everybody got to get on their shit, be prepared. But once we back in the, in the house, in our own little comfort zone, like, I'm chill. Like, we joking, laughing, like, just being around my partners. Like, they keep a nigga lit, laughing and all, joking type, all that type of shit. Cool. Joke of the day, you got a joke? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you got one? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm ready. I'm ready. What do you say to the person that uh, you don't want to talk to no more? Fuck off. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. No, <laughs> play with me. Yeah, I, I got one too. I got, I got to share one. All right. So. What do you call a leopard that plays hide and that plays hide and seek? Jojo. That motherfucker don't want to be spotted. Oh <laughs> 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 no love. Ah, okay. That motherfucker yeah. don't want to be spotted. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's about, my little jokes and laughter and. One last question to get us through a part of Slim in two sentences. The last question is a sporting question. I love sport, so I always ask people just to see what their sports preferences are. If you could be in any sport and be the best sport star in that sport, what sport would it be? See, I ain't going to say no regular-ass shit, but... If I could do some shit like that, I'll play some hockey or something. Jeez, hockey, yeah. <laughs> then, Why hockey? Like, because if if you don't like how the the opposite playing over there, you can whip his ass for a couple of seconds. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> I love that, bro. I love that. And um, the album is out now. Uh, big shouts to everybody inside the live, enjoying and tapping in and sending messages. Much love. Yeah. Uh, 400, what would you say 
um, you know, for the rest of the year, for the people out there, everybody on lockdown, what's your, what's your like, your quarantine message to everybody out there in the world right now? I mean, shit, just have faith in the Lord. You know everything gonna be all right. Stay around the close and your loved ones. And, uh, you know, practice dissonant. Yeah, period. Yeah, that's what's up. And all your social media platforms, can you give those out so people can keep in touch and don't miss anything? Uh, what, Facebook? Shit, Instagram, Twitter. Everything basically gonna be Slim 400, be okay. Slim 400, be okay. Jeez. And the album Shake Back is out there in the world now. Make sure yeah. you go and support the people. Stream that, buy that, all of that good stuff. You know, Slim like 400. I, I, I look, and like I was saying earlier, go download the whole tape, screenshot the bitch, show me you did that. I'm posting on my story. All support is good support. You sound sad? Tell a friend to tell a friend. And on that note, Slim 400, it's been a pleasure speaking to you. That part. Good looking. Good looking. Have a good rest of the day, sir. Yep, you too. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, my blessing. All right. So, I'm back on the live. Trying to go live with my guy, TK Kirkland. Let's see if we can do this. Music worldwide on Dan Blake TV on YouTube. Hey, what up, what up? It's your boy Slim 400, and you tuned in to Music Worldwide with your boy Dan Blake. Bye. Music Worldwide.